Good morning guys, this is Webster from my Therapy Garden YouTube channel. We're playing in the dirt, help you take away my hurt. Today, we're looking at some of the potted plants on my back porch. Some of the potted plants on my back porch. And today is the uh, first week in April. So it's a nice spring day, very sunny and windy. All right, so the first plant I have here is a Japanese maple. And this one is called Lemon Lime Lace Leaf. Lemon Lime Lace Leaf. It's just leafing out, but you can see the leaves have that lemony color. That light lime green color. And it's a lace leaf Japanese maple. That means it's finely cut. It's a dissectum. The next one here is a Mikawa Yatsibusa. Mikawa Yatsibusa. And the Mikawa Yatsibusa is usually considered a dwarf Japanese maple. It's more of the, uh, the leaf that we're used to seeing, the palmatum, which palmatum means palm. So you can see the leaves kind of look like your five fingers on your palm. And a lot of people use Yatsibusa as um, bonsai because it's very slow growing and it's dwarf. The leaves green. And of course it changes in the uh, fall to a yellow shade. So green in the spring and summer. Of course in the fall, nice and yellow. That's from Mikawa Yatsibusa. Next beside it, we have a small conifer. Maya's dwarf. This is a, a spruce, a tiny spruce. And it will be a dwarf. So for three, four, maybe five years, you can stay in this pot until it grow a little bigger that we can put it in a bigger pot. But it's a small spruce. Who knows if it's strong enough, I might even put, take it outside and put it in my conifer garden. But for now, <laughs> I'm just enjoying it on the back porch. Right beside it here is another Japanese maple, Orangiola. This Orangiola I swapped out. It was outside um, in the rose garden, but it was getting too much sun and it was really struggling. The leaves were scorched every day and it was just really struggling. So I dig it up and I put it in the pot and put it on the back porch and I swap it out with the black dragon that I have outside because the black dragon is more tolerant of sun. So this is the orangeola. Light red in the spring. It should maintain this light red color and in the fall like a blazing orange. And that's why it's called orangeola, because it has that orange color in the fall. And right beside it here is a little pine. This is a Japanese black pine. It's called Thunderhead. And I also have a bigger one on top of the hill, but you can't get enough of these conifers so I have to have it close by on the back porch so when I'm out here in the morning sipping on some tea or at night having a glass of red or white wine I can enjoy my conifer up close and also my Japanese maple so that's my Japanese black pine called Thunderhead beautiful pine needles I see all these candles coming up, so we know it's doing good. Uh, it will be leafing up all the way to the top by summer. Right here we have a fern leaf, Japanese maple. A fern leaf, Japanese maple.
from the full moon uh, species or the full moon variety. See the leaves look like the other one I have outside on the right side of the garden. The nice green leaves again have that kind of lemony color. This is also called the dancing peacock. The dancing peacock. Because in the uh, fall, it goes through so many color changes, just like the color on a peacock. You have red, then a little green, a little yellow, a little orange. It goes through a whole lot of different color changes. So it's called the dancing peacock. And it's a fern leaf Japanese maple. Over here we have some topiaries that I created. And this is a lemon cypress. A lemon cypress. I bought these at Lowe's actually in the winter time. You know, they have them as a little Christmas tree. And I saw on a YouTube channel, Linda Vader. She was to she topiary everything. So I see how she topiar it. So I did the same with mine. And I kept them on the back porch. You have to keep them watered. Don't let them dry out. If they dry out, <laughs> they're a goner. So every two days, I water them. And it's not too bad now, but come summer when it's real hot, you know, I'll have to make sure that they're watered every day. And that's why, and I keep them in clay pot because although they need water every day, they don't like to sit in the water. They'll get root rot. Okay, right beside them, I have some lavender, two lavender. And these are variegated leaf lavender. This one you can't see so much, just look like a regular lavender. But on this one, you can see the variegation. The yellow on the outside and the green on the inside. Variegated leaf lavender. And of course, come uh, summer, when they start blooming, ooh, we'll have that lavender scent here on the back porch. So guys, these are some of the plants I have on the back porch. I got lavender. I got these little Monterey lemon cypress. And I got lots of Japanese maple in pots. Conifers also. And from the back porch, I can look out and see the hill, my hill garden. And just a quick glimpse of the hill garden. <laughs> I'll make a video of everything that's on top of the hill soon. So guys, if you like this video, please share it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave your comments at the bottom. Again, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing in the dirt, you have to take away my hurt. You all have a good day, happy spring, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.